Uh, hi everyone, thank you for joining us for uh, this final video to mark the end of the Biodiverse Festival 2020. We've been really overwhelmed um, with the feedback that we've received so far and with just the amount of engagement that we've had really. Um, and I think it really highlights that uh, what this festival was aiming to achieve, so creating a platform for minority and underrepresented scientists from biology and conservation. It really shows that that this platform was needed um, and sort of long awaited. So we hope that it's been useful for for all of you. Seeing so much diversity and so much community um, within that diversity is it's really inspiring. I think it's not really something that I've experienced personally uh, before. And I've absolutely loved it from a behind the scenes perspective of um, getting this event together uh, or helping get it together. And um, also from an audience perspective of seeing everyone's amazing science and then communicating it beautifully and learning about people's journeys, like the, the Tony and Wild Q&A on Twitter. I really loved reading um, Anthony Yang's story and conservation and his ideas. One thing that we've seen that's run through this whole event has been the collaboration and the and the sort of working together. Um, and I think that was something that I noticed kept being brought up in like all our keynote talks um, was just how many people are involved in science. And so I think that, you know, going, going right back to the beginning of this on Monday, when we heard from Dr. Jane Goodall and when she closed her speech with um, how how we all need to work together. And I think that's really just come across throughout this whole thing is that we need everyone involved in biology and conservation and all of these conversations. Um, I think that's been really cool. And I hope that it kind of continues as well. I think that leads us on really nicely as, way, as well to say thank you to all of the people who have worked with us and have uh, supported us right from the off. So that's all of our sponsors. Um, so we have the Woodland Trust, uh, the British Ecological Society, um, and our other collaborators as well. So Conservation Optimism, Conservation Careers, um, and a particular thanks has to go out as well to One Planet Conservation Awareness um, and to Jordan and Jody for all of their behind the scenes work. Uh, Jordan for putting us in touch with so many amazing people and projects and Jodie for all of her amazing work um, with videography. We've been completely lost without her. So big thanks to those two, definitely. A final thanks also has to go to, to Tani. Um, I remember Tani first approaching me with this idea and it all seeming so wild and far-fetched, but like her sheer determination has made all of this possible. Um, and her guidance throughout all of it has been amazing as well. So yeah, a final thanks to Tani, um, the Biodiverse Festival founder. Like you guys listening to that crazy idea and being like, sure, we'll do that and just being there like through everything you know we just totally just put ourselves out there and we're like we're going to try and do something that we've not really seen before and we are not experienced in and I think we've we've managed it. Reflecting upon this past week and the successes that we have had within it um, really open up the discussion for the future. Issues that we tackle within the festival um, aren't just things that need to be tackled once a year and once a week every year. It is every single day that this work needs to be done of uplifting diverse voices and ensuring true inclusivity. We are hoping to continue this work, um, not only annually, but hopefully um, sort of at different points throughout the year, hopefully. Um, and also we are considering, um, hopefully turning this into an annual event. So we'd really love to hear from anyone who participated this week and got involved in some way. Um, so there's a link to a Google form in the description of this video and we'll be sending out on a mailing list and over social media as well, because we really want to hear your feedback. What did what worked well? What didn't? Um, what did you really enjoy? What did you get from it? All of that information that we can then incorporate into future Biodiverse Festival events. Um, but I do just want to end on the, mo on the point that um, it's also the system that needs to change. And this festival is one way to increase representation and inclusion within uh, biology, conservation and all science. We need to tackle it from multiple different angles and we need to see um, greater inclusion and equity within organisations, institutions, companies and individuals. And we all have a role to play in that every single day. So thank you for getting involved this year and we look forward to seeing you again in the future.